Hi. I don't know how to say this other than just to say it. You're running out of time. Time for what, you ask? Time for salvation. If you haven't given your life to Christ, today is the day of salvation. You need to do it. Because there's a great evil about to be unleashed on the world. It's going to come slowly without you realizing what's happening. Your rights are going to be taken away slowly, but surely. That's already happening. Soon you'll be asked to uh, take a mark so you can eat, so you can buy gas. I don't know what exactly the mark will be, but it will be in your right hand or on your forehead. I'm not sure. Will it be an actual mark? I'm thinking no. The technology we have today says it'll be a microchip. But you'll be asked to take it. I also know that the evil that's been unleashed in the world is real. All the things that were good are now bad. All the things that were bad are now good. What does that sound like to you? It sounds like an evil has been unleashed into this world right before our eyes. And some of them that are creating this evil, they don't even care that you know. They admit to it. The Bible says in the last days, men will seek to deceive you. You see that all over our media. Owned by six corporations, they get to decide what we know. Rarely any of it is true. A lot of it is fabricated. We learned that out. Learned that recently when uh, the uh, phone calls were released from the guy that owns CNN. Yep. Fabricated stories to make a president look good. I mean, look bad. Sorry. I wish that was the guy. And this election... It is obvious to me there was fraud. Obvious that dead people voted, just like those dead people received stimulus checks. Obvious that votes were changed. It's obvious that votes were stuffed and signatures forged. And you know what? The truth be told, even if it went the other way and Biden's votes got changed to Trump is still evil and it still demanded an investigation. Our democracy is at stake. So it doesn't matter what you believe politically because this ain't about politics. This is about evil being released into the world. This is about the devil being a liar and all his reprobative mind followers are also. So, my question is this, are you going to continue being deceived? Are you going to open your heart to Christ? There's two choices. That's it. Two choices only. Continue being deceived or open your heart and accept Jesus as your Savior. That's it. That's all. And there's so much more I could talk about, and maybe I will again as the week, as the days go by this week, because I'm feeling very inspired. Open your eyes. 
Don't believe the media. They're liars. Okay? I love y'all, and I pray if you haven't found Jesus as your Savior, that you will seek Him diligently. Because when you seek Him diligently and with your whole heart, you will find Him. And He will come running to you. Because our Father in Heaven loves you. No matter what you've done, no matter how badly you've treated people, He loves you and He wants you to come to salvation. I hope you finish watching this. And I hope you know that I'm doing this because I love you. No other reason. All right. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.